Alright guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Mr. Baby and if you log into Global Dokkan right now, you will see information for Beerus' Dokkan event as well as a revamp to the old Battle of Gods event. Now I've been waiting for in-game news so I can go ahead and cover all of this information. So in this video I'm going to be going over the banner, both Beerus and STR Weiss, which will be coming because STR Weiss is also really good so I want to you know, go over um, uh, Whis, and then I want to go over the new God Goku and why he's very, very, very important, okay? So first, Beerus. This is going to be Beerus's banner. I do not see this changing much, if at all. I don't think I don't think it will change at all, to be honest. This banner is very, very, very good, okay? <laughs> very, very, very good. I am not going to sit here and tell you not to summon, all right? Um, but I want to, re to remind you guys that the fifth year anniversary is right around the corner. Beerus, arguably the best TR in the game. STR Whis, arguably the best defensive unit in the game. STR Cooler, arguably the best TUR or one of the best TURs in the game. Namek Goku, um, he's pretty good, but once he transforms, he's just ridiculous. Doesn't take damage anywhere. Um, I mean, as long as he stacks a little bit, right? I'm talking about Legend of Goku, but he's still really good. Transforming Vegeta, again, very good. This guy, once he gets his EZA, or since he has his EZA now, he's a lot better. Um, this guy can actually you Do you have any? Yeah, you do have an EZA. He's actually really good with his EZA, and then we've got a bunch of, you know, random units here. This banner is very, very good. I'm not going to lie to you guys, okay? Two best TURs in the game, and then the best defensive unit in the game. Like, it's the best T defensive TUR, if you want to be specific. Um, but these units are very good. I don't. I, I really don't have much to say. So let's hop into Beerus first. Let's see what he does, right? He he brings the Explosion of Anger category, or Realm of Gods category, key 3, HP 130%, and attack and defense plus 170%. Uh, now, personally, I am not a fan of leaders who are... 130% to HP, just a very weak, not a weak team, um, just HP wise, like I'd rather have 170% to HP and attack, right? But that's just my personal preference. His super tech, he raises attack, infinite stacking, very good, causes immense damage to enemy and greatly lowers defense, again, very good. So his passive skill, defense plus 100%, attack plus 150% when performing a super attack, Plus an additional attack and defense plus 70% within the same turn after receiving an attack. Randomly changes key spheres to a certain type to rainbow. And attacks effective against all types when there is a realm of gods category enemy. So there's a lot to process right here, right? A lot to process right here. If you if you bring this guy into the legendary Goku event, right? You put him in the first slot and UI Goku attacks him, he will have um well is, is it plus additional after receiving the attack? Same turn after receiving attack, yeah. So once uh, UI Goku attacks him once, his defense will be 170% and, and his attack will be 220%. That's really good. And again, UI Goku is on Realm of God, so he has types effective against all types, but he already, he already does have, um, uh, what's it called? Against MUI Goku, he has type advantage. So I guess it would this actually work really well against the STR UI Goku, right? But you'll need a little bit more defense. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. This guy is very, very, very good, and he does have an active skill. Attack and defense plus 50%, attacks effective against all types, and attacks guaranteed to hit for one turn. Can be activated when HP is 70% or less, starting from the first turn, fourth turn from the start of battle once only. Very good. The fact that he has an active he, he doesn't even need an active skill to be good, but the fact that he has an active skill makes him so much better. His links are really good, his stats are really good. This guy is overall very, well, he's solid. He, I mean, he's better than solid. He's probably one of the best TURs in the game, like I said, right? Next, we have STR Weiss, Bond of Master and Disciple Leader, key 3 and 120% to all stats. So it's nice that we're getting another Bond of Master and Disciple Leader. I'm actually tired of running Gohan, right? Um, uh, causes supreme damage to enemy, lowers attack and defense, and seals super attack. Is Weiss's super attack effect? Very good, in my opinion. Now, this is where STR Weiss is just incredible defensively, okay? Attack and defense plus 100%. That's what's hard to turn. Great chance, which is what, 70%, right? Yeah. 
70% chance of evading enemy's attack, including super attack, and an additional defense plus 50% with each attack evaded within the same turn. All allies that wait, let, actually, let's stop there. So, if you bring this S tier Weiss into something like Super Battle Road, right, and they're attacking 1500 times in the first slot, you want STR Weiss there. Because if STR Weiss, let's say they're attacking eight, it's five times, right? SCR Weiss dodges the first two. Weiss just got a 100% defensive buff, right? On top of her deep, I said her, his defense that um, that's already 100%, and then he still remains with that 70% chance to dodge. Like, it's, like, Beerus, Be I, I can't even speak, Weiss gets rewarded for dodging, but has still has a high chance to dodge. It's, it's incredible to me. Um, and then attack plus 50% and recovers 10% HP at the start of turn when there's an ally whose name includes Beerus. Um, so this extra this extra attack isn't really like... So like 50% is actually really good, but Weiss is not a hard-hitting unit anyway. Like if this was defense, it would have been... C like this is just... it was... It w I don't know. This card is meant to be run with Beerus. Links are really good. Stats are pretty decent. I mean, it's low defense, but... We still have the best unit in the game, best defensive unit in the game. Let me, let me relax. Okay, now we have this Goku right here, Super Saiyan Goku, the intelligence one. He gets an awakening, okay, into this God Goku. Now this is God Goku's SSR art, right? Not the TUR, right? If you want to go over it real quick, Realm of Gods category key two and thirty percent to um, all stats, or this fire leader skull that I'm not even gonna bother reading. Uh, Causes supreme damage to enemy. Attack and defense plus 50% and recovers 10% HP at the start of the turn, plus an additional attack plus 50% with five or more key spheres obtained. If that was attack and defense, that would have been really solid. Um, but this Goku right here is very important for a few reasons. Well, for one main reason, okay? One, or the only one, is that he raises the super attack of every single god Goku in the game and the ones that are yet to come, including, including, LRUI Goku, because LRUI Goku, his SSR, his SSR art or form is um, God Goku, right? So if you have AGL God Goku, chilling in your box right now, go ahead and get into SA10. Tech God Goku, LR God Goku. I mean, I think that I think the, the rates for that will be incredibly uh, bad, but good luck with that. Anyways, if you have any of these Gokus, any of these Gokus that you need to train up, okay? They're sitting in your box, SA1, SA3, SA5. Um, go ahead and grind them up right now. Uh, Beerus, this uh, this you know celebration will definitely be a good one. Um, but if you guys can go ahead and save your stones, you know I, I I recommend that. But I can't tell you not to summon on a banner like this. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.